What's going on everyone, it's Joy Rifle here and thanks for checking out my Destiny video. In this video I'm going to be covering the hand cannon that you get from becoming rank 5 with the gunsmith, which is the first curse, oh yeah. I have to say major thanks to one of my buddies on Xbox Live for helping me with the footage of this destructive toy, and of course for your guys' viewing pleasure. His Xbox gamer tag is Rider 677 also, in case you want to learn more about the quest you have to go through to get this exotic hand cannon once you reach rank 5 gunsmith, check the video link in the description. I covered all the quest steps for it, just in case you guys are wondering on what you exactly have to do in order to get this first curse. Anyways, let's get to this. First off, I hate to say it, but if you have played with the last word, you have pretty much already played with the first curse, in a way that is. The looks are almost exactly identical. I mean, there may be a few differences here and there, but for the most part, they are exactly identical. And also, they both had the flip effect, which, by the way, in case you guys didn't know, the Weapon Foundry Text Mechanica is definitely in favor of the flip effect animation, which I have to say is always going to be unique in my personal opinion. As you guys know, the chaperone, the last word, and now the first curse! Oh yes! I guess that is the reason why they are similar looking. I mean, they both are made from Tex Mechanica. I guess in a way it is understandable, but I do have a feeling that a lot of people are going to be extremely disappointed that this is basically a reskin. But hey, this is still not a bad hand cannon. Keep that in mind, everybody. I will say, though, don't get me wrong, the first curse isn't the same as the last word in stat-wise. It's just the same as in look-wise. I'll get more to that, though, further in this video. I'm not going to get too ahead of myself here. I'm going to start with the perks first. The perks on the first curse don't look too awful, in my personal opinion. Starting with my favorite perk on this exotic hand cannon, and that is Deadeye. It gives bonus to range, stability, and movement speed when aiming down the sights. Convenient to have, I must say. For the scopes, it comes with CQB ballistics, smooth ballistics, and soft ballistics. For the next one, it has triple tap. Rapidly landing precision hits will return one round to the magazine. I have to say, very nice. For the other tree perks, it has quick draw, lightweight, and speed reload. Personally, I'd go with speed reload because the reload on the first curse can be dreadfully slow compared next to other great hand cannons. Lastly, it has the perk called the first curse, which what this does is precision kills while aiming down sights, grant increased range and stability until the next reload. Overall, this hand cannon is up there with the last word person. There was a rumor going around that this perk right here would actually make enemies explode like the Cursed Thrall. And that seems to be false, everybody. That is not true whatsoever. Do not believe the rumors on that one. What's nice about this hand cannon, though, is that it can kill an enemy in the PvP world with two dome paces, which basically what I said there was two headshots equal a kill. But typically, to be fair with you all, this is normally a three-shot kill. It all depends on how close you are and your accuracy on whether or not you're going to get that two-shot dome pace. Overall, though, this hand cannon is up there with the last word. I mean, sure, it doesn't fire as fast as the last word, of course, but it is up there, like I just said. Here's a graph comparison of different hand cannon statistics. As you can see, the rate of fire on the first curse might not be as good as the others, but look at the impact and range. And also keep in mind the reload speed can always be boosted thanks to the perk it comes with, speed reload. But overall, personally, I believe the first curse stands well next to other exotic hand cannons, which is great. What I mean when I say that is, you can actually withstand gunfights against other exotic hand cannons. And that just goes to show what kind of hand cannon this is. If it can compare up to the last word in Hawkmoon, well then hey, it's actually a decent hand cannon, everybody. Keep that in mind. I know a lot of you would probably prefer another hand cannon, but I'm just saying. This is definitely not a bad one. Don't be too picky on this. It's always good to try out some new things, and I definitely recommend this to be one of them. If you are a hand cannon user, that is. The only problem with the first curse, personally, is how long it can actually take getting to rank 5 gunsmith. But at least this is a guarantee of exotic. I mean, the other hand cannons are not. Although, more than likely, you'll end up getting the other good hand cannons before you get your hands on this one. Don't get me wrong, once again, this is not a bad exotic to get your hands on. I will say this, this is definitely a great choice for hand cannon users. But I guess that's about wrapping up this video. Hope you guys found this gameplay enjoyable of the first curse, and you also found the video enjoyable. I'm out of here everybody, as always I'm going to leave a friendly reminder at the end of the video to leave a like and or share it. It is greatly appreciated everyone. The continued support continues to help my channel rise, and for that I can't thank you all enough. In this video my goal, just like my other videos, is to surpass 777 likes. I know, Bungie likes the number 7, but hey, that doesn't mean I can't. This has been your rifle, and remember, Guardians, to stay safe out there. And of course, try not to sleep in pee. Peace out.